at the end of this topic you should be able to understand the terminology used in LPP that is linear programming problem formulate linear programming model from the verbal description of problem and identify the characteristics of linear programming problem before we actually formulate the LPP it is useful to know some of the terminology used in the linear programming problem the first one is decision variables objective function constraint and non-negativity constraint so let us understand these terms with the help of an example suppose an industry is manufacturing two types of products product p1 and product p2 the profit per kg of the two products are rupees 30 and rupees 40 respectively these two products require processing in three types of machines the following table shows the available machine hours per day and the time required on each machine to produce 1 kg of p1 and p2 formulate the problem in the form of linear programming model so as to maximize the profit and this is the table which is given over here now the prof we are supposed to have these two products now here is a question for you read the problem twice carefully and try to find out the answer for the following questions the first what is to be decided in this problem what is the objective of this problem and what are the some limitations that are mentioned in this problem so pause the video and just think about it okay so i think you must have got some answers so first question is what is to be decided if you read the problem carefully you can see that the amount of p1 in kg is to be decided how much p1 is to be manufactured in kg that is to be decided let us indicate it by x1 also we need to decide the amount of p2 in kg let us call it as an x2 what is the objective of this problem the objective is to maximize the profit so we have to manufacture p1 and p2 in a such a quantity that it will give me the maximum profit what are the limitations mentioned in this problem the limitations are related to the machine hours the total available machine hours are for machine 1 600 for machine 2 800 and for machine 3 1100 these are the three limitations mentioned over here we can represent the table in this way now the decision variables are x1 and x2 that that is the amount of product p1 and amount of product p2 in kg to be produced and we call them as a decision variables now here is a question for you what will be the total profit if x1 amount of p1 products are manufactured and x2 number of p2 products are manufactured you can note that the profit per kg is given by these figures pause the video and just give a thought to it okay now the total profit can be represented with this equation so 30 is the profit in rupees for every kilogram of x1 or product p1 and x1 is the quantity to be produced so 30 x1 is the profit given by p1 and 40 x2 is the profit given by the product p2 and this becomes our objective function and we wish to maximize this objective function let us move to the constraint now it is mentioned that 1 kg of p1 right so 1 kg of p1 requires 3 hours of processing 
time in machine 1 and P2 requires 2 hours of machining in machine 1. So the first constraint can be expressed which is related to the machine 1 as 3x1 plus 2x2 should be less than or equal to 600. As it is mentioned that machine 1 is available for only 600 hours, right? So this becomes your first constraint, first limitation. We can write down it as 3x1, 2x2 should be less than or equal to 600. Now let us move to the constraint number 2 which will be related to machine 2. So we can express the constraint 2 as 3x2, 3x1 plus 5x2 should be less than or equal to 800. So this becomes my constraint number 2. Here is a question for you. What will be the third constraint? Pause the video and just think about it. So third constraint would be 5x1. So this is the 5x1 plus 6x2 should be less than or equal to 1100. So this becomes my constraint number 3 related to the machine 3. Now let us formulate the linear programming model. The first thing is your decision variables. So x1 and x2 are the decision variable and we wish to maximize the profit and the objective function is given by 30x1 plus 40x2 which is subjected to three constraint. The constraint 1 is related to machine 1 constraint 2 is related to machine 2 and constraint 3 is related to machine 3 and the lastly non-negativity constraint what is a non-negativity constraint as the quantity of product p1 and p2 cannot have a negative value it should be greater than or equal to zero thank you